With the brand new artwork of Ganondorf being spread around the internet, a brand new theory has sprung up of where Ganondorf isn't actually a villain this time around, but quite the opposite. Let's get into this theory. Now, these two most recent pieces of artwork are having people remembering a cutscene in Kakariko Village from the Elder in Breath of the Wild. This cutscene describes a fight between the Calamity, which looks like a giant red dragon, and the goddess Hylia and the hero of Hyrule all fighting it out. Now, the theory focuses on the hero in this cutscene and how similar the hero and Ganon in these new pieces of artwork look. We see they both have long red hair and either a green tunic and green skin. We see that the new work of art for Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom, he has green skin, long red hair, kind of put up into a ponytail, kind of like a samurai. And then also in this cutscene, the guy looks like he's having a green tunic on, but he could also be the green skin. And we also get some red hair depicted on there. You would originally assume that this is Link because of the green tunic, but now with this recent artwork, the internet's not 100% sure on this. Could Ganondorf have been the original hero that fought off the Calamity? Maybe he got taken over by the Calamity in this fight got turned into an evil villain that we then have to fight in Breath of the Wild. Crazier things have happened in Zelda. Now the idea of Ganon being a hero in Tears of the Kingdom can also be backed up by the fact that he has a tear on his forehead which has been associated with the Sages of Hyrule returning and we can only confirm five other tears at the moment. These being Zelda, Riju, Tullin, Sidon, and someone I'm going to call the Zonai leader because we don't really have a particular name for them yet. If all those other characters that we know for sure are helping Link in Tears of the Kingdom, and they all have tears with them, why does Ganon have one of these tears on his person as well? Put instead of the seven sages we know from Ocarina of Time, there are actually eight sages in the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom segment of this Zelda timeline. We actually know of a place in Breath of the Wild in the desert where it has seven statues called the Seven Heroines? Or Heroines? I don't know, I'm gonna butcher the name, but we can assume they relate back to the seven sages that we know from Ocarina of Time. But in addition to these seven, we know that there is an eighth one missing that is actually found in the snowy mountains just outside of the desert area in Breath of the Wild. This is basically said that the heroine Heroine? This eighth one was exiled, we assume, to be somewhere else and depict something that they have done outside of the original seven. Could this eighth statue somehow be related to Ganon and Ganon's ancestors? I don't fully know, but it's an idea that there could actually be eight sages and not just seven. Now, we obviously won't know if this theory is correct or not until we play through Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out in May, but this may be one of the crazier theories that has come out, and it would really change the entire timeline of the Zelda games that we know and love entirely if this is true. But as always, I am curious about your guys' opinion. What do you think about this theory? Do you think this is really out of left field there's no possible way that Ganon is going to turn into a good guy this time around or do you think that Ganon just stole this tier from one of the other characters like Yenobo uh, the Goron that we see in Breath of the Wild and just put it on his forehead let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below I always like to read them and see your theories and thoughts around this and I'll catch you guys on my next video